here is the arch of aorta the branches of arch of aorta the brachiocephalic trunk this is the ascending aorta that is arch of aorta that is the descending thoracic aorta the arch of aorta has three branches first branch is the brachiocephalic trunk the second branch is the left common carotid and the third branch is the left subclavian artery the brachiocephalic trunk gives the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery as the name denotes the brachiocephalic trunk supplies the, the upper limb as well as the head the left subclavian as the name says it passes beneath the clavicle this supplies the upper limb the left common carotid artery is a direct branch of the arch of aorta you will find the pulmonary trunk this is a pulmonary trunk and there is a small ligamentous structure connecting the pulmonary trunk with the arch of aorta I would like to say two important nerves related to these main arteries these are the left vagus nerve crossing the arch of aorta descending down while crossing the arch of aorta distal to this ligament named as the ligamentum arteriosum there is a embryological remnant distal to this the left vagus nerve gives a branch which loops below the arch of aorta and ascends upwards towards the larynx this is named as the left recurrent laryngeal nerve that's a very important nerve supplying the laryngeal muscles and also the lower half of the interior of the larynx the right vagus crosses the right subclavian artery it descends down while this gives the right recurrent laryngeal nerve below the right subclavian artery so this is a major difference the right recurrent laryngeal nerve arises in a much higher level when compared with the left recurrent laryngeal nerve.